Hey, good morning. Uh, I've had so many requests about rocks, doing rocks. I thought the best way to show you, uh, you know, I showed you the credit card technique. I think the best way is to show you some of the paintings I've done and how I approach the rock study, okay? So this is a surf painting uh, I did. And the way that you begin is to, you know, once you establish the water and so forth, I'm wetting the area where, the, where I'm going to paint into the rock so that because there's water on the bottom, we're going to have a nice soft edge and we want to give the appearance that that water is splashing up on my rocks, okay? So there's the rocks and I'm painting down into that wet area right under there. That's nice and nice soft edges. It gives you the appearance that the water is coming up. All right, so over here, I'm just gonna paint the shapes of the rocks. Uh, this is ultramarine with uh, quinacridone sienna. Over here, I'm using some raw sienna. All right, and now I'm gonna take uh, my credit card here and show you the squeegee effect using the texture of the paper to give me the texture of rocks, which is really amazing. You know, it's a beautiful technique and you can master it very quickly and very easily, okay? And then once you do that, you get that effect, you go in with some dark color and, uh, you know, paint these crevices and these cracks and crevices and so forth. So um, it's all really pretty easy stuff, you know? Just take some practice and you can do it, okay? All right, thank you so much. That's just one. Now I'm gonna show you another one I did of Gloucester Harbor. Okay, there's the finished painting. All right, we'll get on yes, to the so next one. All right, this is a beautiful, interesting spot here. This, this is where the grass is growing down into the rocks and between the rocks. So we want to define that. Uh, we're defining our rocks here with some very dark, uh, this is ultramarine and quinacridone gold maybe a drop of rose in there. But it gives you a beautiful chance to define the rocks, that, that beautiful blue-gray blue that we painted the rocks there. Okay, so that section on the right is darker than that extension of grass. All right, this is the land that the rocks are sitting on. Uh, it's very dark. I'm using the same colors, um, but a little darker there. I may have added some rose to it. And then you want to bring that all the way around. This is very dark. This is where the light is not hitting under those trees at all. But I'm adding rocks here. Uh, there are some rocks in the photo, but I'm, I'm adding, you know, I'm shaping them and leading you into the painting with these rocks. They're a little too light here, so I'm going to have to go over it and darken them. But they're beautiful and they really they're really a, a wonderful lead into our painting okay so i'll bring that down and that piece of land is it comes right around and this is where you want to uh, pay attention uh, and sort of define it you know that same uh, cobalt uh, ultramarine blue with uh, the quin gold all right so there's the edge of the land now the land is coming down and going into the water here. So we just want to, it's hard to see, so you kind of have to, you know, uh, use your own creativity, your own initiative. So the land is meeting some of these rocks. Again, vary it, you know, don't have it all. It's not a black, it looks black in the, in the video, but it's very, I'm pushing it towards the gold. So there's, uh, you know, a variation between the gold and the dark blue. All right, now I'm just adding some water and bringing that, pushing it down into the, into where it meets the rocks, into the water, into the shoreline. And you want that piece of light there. It really helps. You can see it helps so much because that massive dark is just too dark and too black. So you really want to uh, change it. All right, you know this trick. All right, this is a beautiful technique that I know you have all mastered by now. 
using that credit card to just skim over some of that paint and use the texture of your paper to define some beautiful rocks here. Just, you're not digging into that paper now. It's just, uh, you know, you're just squeegeeing over it. All right, uh, same, I'm using the same colors here. Very dark uh, ultramarine with quinacridone gold. I may put a, a drop of rose in there, here and there. And this is where the land is meeting those rocks. A couple of, uh, you know, cracks and crevices on the rocks. Land's coming down, you can see it. Okay, meeting rocks, there's a ton of rocks in that shore. So these rocks give you a beautiful, uh, you know, uh, lead into the land, you know, between the, the rocks and, and the rocks have no light at all on them. They just, they're in the shadow there. And we're just going to place those. Don't make them all the same, you know, deliberately change the shape or size of them so that you you know, they're not monotonous, they're not all the same. You know, we're all human and we tend to do repeat ourselves constantly, so it's easy to fall into that trap where you're making them all the same. So you have to push yourself to go a little bigger, a little stronger, a little lighter. Some more cracks and crevices here on those big, big expansions of rock. Beautiful tone there, beautiful colors. That gold is a wonderful color. So you can use this dark to shape the rocks a little more if you want and just really enjoy it. All right, I'm just using the gold, uh, that dirty water really, that's on my palette uh, as reflections of the rocks. They all reflecting into the water here. So you need a, you need a uh, reflection on all of them. Take your time. You know, I'm pushing it towards the gold a little bit so you don't have that black, black shape, you know. All right, up here we have um, the same thing. You have the reflection of the land in the water here. Uh, and I'm just using a little bit of that, again, that dirty water that's on my palette and just pulling it down so it's part of the land. All right, and then I'm gonna use a little more of the blue, uh, the Windsor blue here that I made the water with, and just leading it into the land, letting, letting the land bleed into it, and just you know have it as a reflection of that close up of the land. Just putting a little color on those rocks. They're a little bit too white you can see on the right hand side I really brought those down in value. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more full length videos, go to paulgeorgevideos.com or email me for a free month at pg77 at mac.com. Thanks again for watching.